Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the mechanical properties of polymers. Polymers are the macromolecules and hence exhibits unique mechanical properties such as tensile strength, plasticity and elasticity. So here I am going to discuss in brief about the tensile strength, plasticity and elasticity. So initially moving to the tensile strength. Tensile strength is directly proportional to the molecular weight of the polymer. And in other words, the molecular weight of the polymer depends upon the degree of polymerization. Tensile strength means the load bearing capacity of the polymer. So, always the tensile strength of the polymer is directly proportional to the molecular weight of the polymer or it depends upon the degree of polymerization. So, for the better understanding, let us draw the graph between the tensile strength and the degree of polymerization. So, whenever if a graph is drawn between the tensile strength and degree of polymerization, the tensile strength of a polymer slowly increases with the increase in the degree of polymerization. So, as the degree of polymerization increases, the tensile strength also increases. So, in order to exhibit minimum tensile strength, a polymer is supposed to contain at least 150 to 200 atoms on the main chain of the polymer. So, if the main chain of the polymer contains at least 150 to 200 atoms, then that polymer exhibits enough tensile strength. So, the polymers with low molecular weight are soft. Whereas, the polymers with high molecular weight are hard and strong. So, let us consider three such examples. So, whenever a graph is drawn between the tensile strength and degree of polymerization of few polymers such as polythene, polyvinyl chloride and polystyrene. So, these are the curves of polythene, polyvinyl chloride and polystyrene. So, from these curves, it is very clear that the tensile strength of polystyrene is greater than that of polyvinyl chloride which is greater than that of polythene. So, as the molecular weight of the polymer is high, they exhibit high tensile strength. So, it is about the tensile strength of the polymers. So, tensile strength is directly proportional to the molecular weight of the polymer. That means, it is directly proportional to degree of polymerization. So, as the molecular weight increases, the degree of polymerization also increases.
coming to the next property that is plasticity. So plasticity means it is the ability of the polymer to regain its original structure. So that means whenever if we consider the polymer, the polymers which softens on heating and again regains their original structure on cooling then those polymers are called as thermoplastics and the property is known as plasticity. So, during heating process, some polymers becomes soft. So, the polymers becomes soft. Again, on cooling, the polymers becomes hard. This property is known as plasticity. So, once if we carefully observe what is the fact behind this plasticity, we have to consider the structure of the polymers. For the better understanding, let us consider the linear polymers. So, Generally, at room temperature, these linear polymers are hard. Since there exist secondary intermolecular forces of attraction between the polymer chains. So, between the polymer chains, there exist secondary intermolecular forces of attraction and in general, these secondary intermolecular forces are weak. That means they exhibit weak van der Waal forces. So, whenever these polymers are heated, that means these polymers on heating becomes soft. Why? These secondary intermolecular forces at once disappears on heating. With the result what happens? These polymers becomes more flexible. So, whenever the polymers are heated, then the weak secondary intermolecular forces disappears. With the result, the polymers becomes soft and more flexible. Again, on cooling, these intermolecular forces reappears. With the result, the polymer becomes hard. So, this reversible property is nothing but plasticity and this property is exclusively exhibited by the thermoplastics. So, plasticity is exhibited by only thermoplastics. Thermosetting plastics do not exhibit plasticity. Third property is elasticity. Elasticity means it is the ability of the polymer to regain its original shape. That means whenever an elastomer is stretched, it is capable of undergoing elongation that means the length of the polymer is increased and whenever the stretching force is released it regains its original shape 
So, for the better understanding, let us consider a simple elastomer. In general, elastomers exhibits coiled structure. It is best example for an elastomer. Elastomers generally exhibits coiled structure. So, whenever elastomer is stretched, then what happens? The length of the elastomer increases. So, during stretching force, the length of the elastomer increases since the coiled structure will turn to straight structure. So, during elongation, the coiled structure will straighten out. With the result, the length of the elastomer increases. So, because of the coiled structure, elastomers undergoes elongation whenever the stretching force is applied. In a similar way, whenever the stretching force is released, then it will regain its original shape. And this property is nothing but elasticity. And the elasticity is exhibited by the elastomers. So, coming to the good examples of elastomers, natural rubber, buna, S rubber, all these are good examples of elastomers and they exhibit elasticity. This is about the mechanical properties of polymers. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.